consciousness orb spat out items, so I picked them up. Was it you transferring items? Please, don't cause me any pain. I'll give you back your items. So, please forgive me. Are you suffering because you don't know who you are? Why don't you just think of yourself as being nobody? That should make things easier for you. So don't come back. Why do you want to go back to the way you were? It's no use. Go. Don't come here. Those wings. Are you one of the false angels? I just want to forget. Please just go somewhere else. Those wings. Are you one of the false angels? I just want to... I'll apologize. So don't show me the cultivating fluid. I regret using the liquid to cultivate the littles. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It hurts me so much. I want to die. I have no right to live on this earth. Is it true that Longneck had cried when he saw the cultivating fluid? Memories of being torn apart time and time again, and countless feelings of regret dwell within me. Is this punishment for committing a sin? My father said, if I must see you distort, then I believe we'd be much happier if we just died together. The false angels are saying, the Neuro Tower is a sanctuary. It protects... Hmm, I see. The Baroque you embody is... this. Can you show me the cores of those that are distorted? I'll extract the Baroque that they carry for you. Well, you can say it's a type of occupational disease. Bring one when you feel like it. to my underground cemetery. If you die, you're all mine. <laughs> if you're cool with that, please come in, goddammit. I'll be waiting for you with a brand new coffin. Splurge a little. I'll tell you, using goddamn items is the key to survival. button when you have an item, guess what? You can throw it during battle. Select the item you want to throw with the item select buttons. Don't be stingy. Two Okay, bravo! The trick to defeating meta beings is using items, getting near and slashing. Don't be stingy with your items. If you have time to worry, use the goddamn thing. You're doing good. You have a good amount of health and vitality remaining. Now, on to the next floor. The meta beings on this floor are goddamn strong. I suggest you bite. The thing in the first room is a recovery disc. You'll recover health and vitality, so you should get on, goddammit. tossing an important item. Be careful not to let your goddamn hand slip. Press the item button to open the item. 
Press the item button to open the item screen. Bite on a warp bone and you'll teleport. If you toss it at a goddamn meta being, it'll warp somewhere else. So if you run into an enemy you don't like, toss a bone at him. Other than the individual effects of each bone, you'll recover 10 health and vitality. Keep fighting if you get in trouble. But if you bite a bone that deals damage, you're screwed, goddammit! The number on the top left of your screen is your level. Cubits tell this is placed heads up, so you'll recover health and vitality. There are a bunch of different discs. You just picked up a homing bone. When you throw it, it'll home in on a meta being and deal damage. Try it, goddammit. What's important is whether you use it on yourself or throw it at the enemy. That, timing, and combinations are the key. Well, it'll stick with you as you keep using items. Throw a toxic bone and you'll poison the meta being. Tossing a boom bone will cause an explosion. Hit a meta being with an invincible bone and you'll be in trouble. Find the right time and combination to make good use of the items, goddammit. Now next up is a meta being nest. I'll be frank, there are 10 of them. Please use items to your goddamn advantage. You can only hold up to 20 items, so be careful. You should use your goddamn items before your inventory fills up. Throwing works pretty well too, so try throwing, goddammit. Rock bones are hard, so don't fight it. guys intermediate dungeon ends after you go down here please look forward to next time god damn it oh yeah one more piece of advice there's a recovery disc by the neuro tower so please use it god damn it see you next time